So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over exactly how you can set up a business in Dubai. I'm gonna link down below an extremely detailed video so you can watch that if you want to. But in today's video, I'm gonna go over a higher level overview so you can kind of understand quickly without watching a 10, 15, 20 minute video, which is not long anyway, but without having to watch that and you can still understand exactly what you need to do and what is involved with setting up a business in Dubai. So the first thing to keep in mind is depending on your business, you have to either register in the free zone or in the mainland. Now, with that being said, if you want to know exactly what you need to do for anything in regards to what I go over in this video today, book a call using the link down below. The consultations are free. If you want our services to get set up in Dubai, we would be happy to assist you with this. We've set up over 300 companies here in Dubai and we know exactly how to do the process from start to finish. But to give you a quick understanding, free zone companies are usually for people who do not need to operate physically inside of Dubai. Now, this does not mean that you cannot do business with people in Dubai, you can, as long as it's a professional service, as long as it's digital and you're not physically doing business in Dubai, like physically, you as a person physically doing business in Dubai, like for example, a taxi company, you can't operate from a free zone, you need a mainland license and vice versa as well. If you have a mainland company, you can't do business inside of a free zone physically, again, physically. Now to set up the company, it shouldn't take any longer than one week. This is the average standard timeline. It's usually about four business days. It can be one day, it can be two days, it can be three days, but usually after setting up all these companies, I see that the timeline is usually three to four business days. And please expect some time as well for you as a person to collect your own documents to give to us so that we can make your application. Again, doesn't really take long. It takes five to 10 minutes, but sometimes people like to take time. They think it takes a long time to collect the documents. They don't even open the link that I provide to them, but it really only takes five to 10 minutes. All you need is a passport scan, like a picture of your passport and a picture of yourself. This would actually be used for your entry permit, so not in the first step. And then we'd also need you to fill out a very basic form that shouldn't take, again, no longer than five to 10 minutes. I always tell our clients, the hardest part is picking your company name. That's literally the hardest part. So take that and just understand that it's very simple. Now, once your actual application is submitted, like I said, it'll take around three to four business days to receive your business license and all of your documents. So we would send this to you. Once you have this, the next step is to collect your visa photo, which is a photo of yourself. You can take this on a wall with a phone or you can go to a professional studio. As long as it's high quality, send it to us. We will use this for your entry permit application. So the first process takes one week. The second process will also take about one week. But again, I like to be conservative. That's why I say one week. Realistically, it's about three business days, four business days max. Now, once we have your entry permit, then you can then fly into Dubai at this point in time. It's really straightforward. Just book your flight, fly into Dubai, and the very next business day after you land, our whole team will coordinate your appointments for you. You don't have to do anything. So we'll arrange this from start to finish. All you have to do is wake up, show up to the appointment, which in some cases will even drive you to the appointment depending on the situation. And at this point, once you're at your appointment, they'll do a medical exam. They start off with this. It's a blood draw, which checks for AIDS and tuberculosis. And then immediately after this, about 30 minutes after this, we will complete your biometrics, which takes your fingerprint scans and then you are done. You just have to head home and wait for your residency to be issued. Right now, when I'm making this video, they're being issued the same day. When you are coming, it might be at a different speed. Sometimes it's one day after, and sometimes at most, it's two days after completing your appointment. Now, once your residency is issued, you will get this digital card. We'll send it to you. We'll say, congratulations, you are now a resident. And the next thing we'll do is have your Emirates ID shipped to your location. You can be literally anywhere in Dubai, it doesn't matter where, hotel, Airbnb, friend's house, restaurant, it doesn't matter. We will ship it to you there. You'll collect it, and once you have this Emirates ID, then we are ready to set up your business and personal bank accounts. And just so you can fully understand, the first week in Dubai would be what I just mentioned, your appointments and receiving your residency and your Emirates ID. So let's say you landed on a Sunday, Monday will do your appointments, and by Friday slash Saturday maximum, you should have your Emirates ID in your hand, and we should start your banking process at that point. So to apply for your business bank account, we will help you with this as well. And here at GenZone, we do everything on a guaranteed basis. So we guarantee banking for both personal and business purposes. You won't have a company and a residency visa without a bank account. That would make no sense. So we make sure that it doesn't make sense, and we take care of that for you so that you do have this all set up. Depending on what your selection is and your requirements are, the appointments can either be done online for business and personal banking or online and in person or just in person, depending on what you want. In most cases, it's usually just online. And we've again, set up a ton of bank accounts and we know exactly how to do this 
to not get rejected. Of course, some people do still get rejected and that's why we provide that guarantee that if you do get rejected, we will pay out of our own pockets to set up a business bank account or a personal bank account in another bank for you at no added cost. And to actually get your bank account opened and receive your cards shouldn't take any longer than one week. So really within two weeks of being in Dubai, you should not only have your Emirates ID, but you should also have all of your bank accounts open and set up. And at this point, you can technically leave and you have everything set up, but a lot of people just stay in Dubai at that point. Now that's a very high level overview of setting up a business in Dubai and a few questions that people like to ask me is can I start the entire process inside of Dubai yes you can however there's no point for you to be in Dubai for the first two weeks and it actually costs a little bit more money and I can explain that to you later on a call but of course for clear obvious reasons simple things like not needing to be in Dubai well paying for an Airbnb while you don't have to be there that's a waste of money, but I can go over more details on a call. Another frequently asked question that people ask me is, can I just set up the bank and then leave and get my bank card shipped to me in another country? And the answer is not with every bank. Some banks do allow this, but it's not with every bank and most banks actually don't. So it's best for you to actually be here in person. We can go over this on a call as well. Another really important question that people ask me is how much time do I actually have to spend in Dubai to be a taxable resident in Dubai? Well, the minimum is 90 days per calendar year from January to December. However, I I always recommend people to stay more time than that if they can. And the most important thing is not even the time you spend in Dubai, it's the time you spend in other countries. So yes, 90 days in Dubai, that's good, right? But don't spend more time in any other country around the world to be a taxable resident there. You really wanna avoid this. Even if you don't think you are one, you may be one, so please be careful. And if you have any other questions whatsoever, book a call using the link down below. I'd be happy to get on a call with you or my partner would get on a call with you to break down the entire process from start to finish and answer any question you guys have. And if this short video wasn't good enough and you want a very detailed video, then watch this video right here that goes over literally everything you have to know.